So I would, today I would like to talk about our recent uh, research activity titled Intelligent Systems in the Human-Centric Publication Process. Okay, so uh, first of all, I would like to uh, introduce what is AMADA. So we AMADA produce basically seed metal fabrication machines, such as a cutting machine. So we have a special laser um, cutting machine in the uh, real markets. And uh, bending, welding, uh, software such as CAD CAM and automation system as a solution in the fabrication in the factories. So uh, uh, talking about the market we face, so uh, unfortunately uh, due to the COVID, our markets become much smaller but we are expecting some amount of growth for 2024. We are expecting around 5% CA zero. But after 2024, we don't have a you know, bigger uh, expectation. Maybe our market is going to saturate it. And, uh, but uh, if, when we are uh, looking into the segment by product, uh, AI-enabled fabrication machine market is a bigger growth than the total. So it's almost three times uh, bigger growth. So we have to pay much attention to get in that market, introducing AI capabilities. So especially for the uh, uh, bending and welding, totally uh, depend on the human effort process. As you, as you, uh, I show you later. And uh, we focus on today, we focus on a bending machine. How do you design human machine with AI design in a real fabrication process? So to do that, I briefly introduce you the fragrance of the bending machine. What is a bending machine? So this, this is our typical product. Allow fabricators to easily achieve higher levels of bending productivity. The EG4010 is an ideal compact electric press brake solution. So it looks like a huge robot, but uh, it works just a press. So human puts the work into the uh, mouse of the machine. Then uh, they give us a strong power to bend the metal. That's a, a basic. Uh, uh, function of the uh, bending machine. So to do that, operator have to understand the process, how the order to bend, okay, and uh, how. Sorry. So here we would like to uh, show you our concept, named the co-performing. So. Uh, until now, we maker only focus on the intelligence into the machine. So thanks to such a effort, efforts, so our uh, machine becomes smarter a little bit. So for the uh, higher reliability, for the ease, uh, ease, easiness to use, et cetera. But uh, we didn't consider the interaction between uh, machine and the operators. Even if we introduce an intelligent capability only for the machine. So we open up the connection to the machine, uh, no, sorry, human and the AI to realize better uh, collaboration between operator and the machine via AI. So that's our main concept, intentions. So uh, here I would like to show you our approaches. So. Uh, we introduced three techniques. One uh, ethnography and uh, human sensing and uh, ontology. Ethnography and sensing are used for extract 
extraction of the experience engine skills. So we belong to the implicit knowledge. And also we can compare the difference between the ex experienced engineer and the non-experienced engineer from the sensing point of view also. And uh, ontology, we are going to ap apply sensing results together with the ethnography result into the ontology to construct the knowledge base of the AI system. These three techniques we are going to introduce to uh, make uh, our uh, co-performing system. So this is uh, one example of mainly uh, focusing on uh, human sensing. So we introduced the multi-angled -angled videos together with a uh, various type of sensing technology. So briefly, I would like to show what we captured. So le uh, up, left side upper shows a back, back view. And uh, here, tests are wearing the special suit to detect the motion. And also, we can uh, capture the finger work together as a motion. And uh, we apply the eye tracking uh, right side bottom. Okay. So after such kind of a decoding process, we open up the uh, ethnographic interview session. Watching these uh, multi angle video together with some uh, data from the sensing and the ethnographer try to ask the what and the why parts watching on the video. And uh, even for, you know, uh, experienced uh, uh, engineer do not have any consciousness each act. So sometimes ethnographer ex extracts such an unconscious action in a process, then they describe and describe uh, why he or she act, why, how she or uh, uh, how act. So we extract over 100 label topics besides observation. And among them, we found you know, uh, even the uh, exper experienced operator cannot understand what, what and why, because they, they operate very spontaneously, naturally. So once we, we our ethnographer asked the why or how, comparing or comparing to the uh, unexperienced acts, then the uh, experienced guy found, because I learned a long time ago, how it we should do, or through their uh, experiences, maybe some failure experiences, they run and uh, they run by body. So we discuss, uh, found such kind of uh, uh, unconscious uh, acts of the expert into the uh, text. So uh, this is uh, some of the uh, example of the ontology using uh, MOT technique tools. And uh, blue one, we found uh, them from the uh, ethnographic interview session. First of all, uh, we observed from the, uh, their the, uh, activities, okay? And uh, uh, you know, uh, interesting things through the uh, ethnographic interview, so expert engineer worrying about the condition of the machine all the time, especially at the beginning of the usage, uh, they check the many parts, whether it works properly or not. And also they are worrying about the uh, customer's customer. So they uh, pay much attention to the, uh, not only just the specification, but also how do like as a final product. So we found such kind of humanistic uh, uh, efforts besides a uh, technique to make something, okay? And uh, here is uh, uh, one of the example of the uh, sensing data. So, you know, we, may, we captured a variety type of sensor 
all are very complicated to find uh, something. So we mod modulated some of them to get uh, some story. So as a result, here is a comparison between uh, skilled and uh, unskilled operators. And uh, especially for the skilled operator, they have rhythms, obviously, through the many times. Even the first trial, they got the rhythm. Besides, unskilled operator, they change the pace by, uh, by time. I, we found some uh, hesitation or confusion during the process in an uh, unskilled operator case via uh, interview, uh, ethnographic interview also. So obviously, when we uh, sensing some uh, action of the operator, we found, we might found the hesitation of uh, uh, confusion of the operator to get the trigger of the support from AI side, okay? So this is the current outcomes uh, as a co-performing system. This is a really early stage video. So please show, ah, please watch. So this is a, a video a view from the beer uh, follow lens. So we overlay the 3D images on the real product to show the how to operate the machine. And the uh, operator can say the next step by voice. So without uh, uh, watching any cons co console type of uh, display, they can uh, confirm what they should do in the, in the process. So this type of interaction also realize, uh, give them the chance to make a reason for the uh, unexperienced operator, we believe. So we are going to accumulate the number of the uh, experiments and uh, also we will include improve the uh, design of the uh, such kind of interaction using uh, UX technology. Okay, uh, this is the end of my talk. Thank you. <laughs>